In this tutorial, we will discuss different techniques to design any filters. There are a lot of techniques used to design any filter. You can search at any research papers, but few of them I am going to tell you. And finally, we will discuss one of the techniques and then we will design a filter based on their techniques. One of technique is stub loaded resonator. There is another technique step impedance ring resonator. There is another technique step impedance resonator. Stub loaded step impedance impedance resonator. Coaxial cavity resonator in which we improve quality factor cavity factor multi-mode resonator capacitance loaded square loop resonator defector step impedance resonator and center loaded half wave resonator and open loop resonator these are the different techniques on the base of the techniques we design different filters and recently, most of the filters are designed for one passband. But nowadays, many research going on to design a multi-band band pass filter, a dual band band pass filter, tri-band band pass filter, quantiple and quad port and hexa mode filter are designed nowadays. As we, we now we are going to discuss one of the technique stub loaded. Resonator. We are now going to discuss this technique. Stub loaded resonator. In this techniques, in this techniques, some of some of limitations and some of good points, and we will discuss them, and we will finally design one of one of the project on. Stub loaded resonator. What is the benefit of this technique? By using this technique, we can the pass bands have been positioned by controlling individual stub lengths or stub width. By changing the stub length or stub width, we can change the positions of each pass band. If if first of all, let us suppose a uh, pass band working on 2.4 gigahertz, we are going to move it 2.5 gigahertz. This is not too difficult by simply by changing the stub length and stub width and checking the result. We can easily shift one pass band from one position to another position. But keep in, in mind that other bands are not going to disturb because to change the stub length and width such a way there finally we get a better matching results. And, and transmission zeros. The open stub or coupled with each other Basically, open stubs are used to couple with either to minimize the surface size and generate transmission zeros. The reason for an open stubs there is a gap between stub is that reason reason of those gap is that we are going to generate a transmission zeros. Transmission zeros. The transmission zeros are always created at the stop of the pass band and at the end of the stop band. Because to isolate that pass band from other bands and, and to minimize the insertion losses and to enhance the fractional bandwidth, we generate transmission zero. For this purpose, we always uh, keep left in gaps between the stops. And then, even in R mode frequency, that its resonant frequency. Is flexibly controlled. Now, there is there is a limitation. 
there is a limitation between a stub loaded resonator. The limitation is there that we can we can flexibly control even modes, but our modes are fixed. We cannot move them. By using some of the techniques we can we can move the position of our modes. But but mostly if I am going to change stub length or width, there is even modes are only shifting. Shifting. Not our modes are shift shifting too much. So that's why there is an inflexibility in some cases. Because of the fixed odd modes, there is inflexibility to enhance the bandwidth of multiboard at the same time with better matching, but it gives the idea how to generate, generate tri band band pass filter. I mean if we have a dual if we have dual mode band pass filter, this these some properties gives us an idea we can generate dry band band pass filter. Similarly, we can can create the quad band and hexa band band pass filter using stub loaded resonator technique. We will do this in our coming tutorials and we will explain what is even mode, what is odd mode, and what are, what are the transmission zeros what are the transmission zeros and what is stub and these different terminology we will explain in coming tutorials you must go through tutorial series HFSS tutorial series you will find these terms independently here is showing the uh, transmission zero between a two pass main this gives us this technique gives us another another idea. We can also create a transmission zero inside a pass band. In this way, the pass band is split up into two pass bands. Then, if we have a single mode pass band filter, we can generate our dual mode pass band filter such that by creating a transmission zero inside a pass band. For this purpose, uh, a lot of techniques are used. How to create a, how to create transmission zeros inside a passman. I will discuss that al also in my coming tutorials. By by doing a lot of uh, ex experiments and simulation, I come to conclude that if change the length of a single stub may get effect on other stub position so it is necessary to adjust all stub length such that it get a better possible matching result by changing length or width of a single stub we we can shift the stub and we also can enhance enhance the band width and similarly we can also uh, to create another pass band by creating a transmission zero inside a pass band but there is a big problem is that it is very difficult to to match the circle better matching because we always want to change our changes we want to change a, to produce changes in a one pass band so that we also keep in mind it does not if there is no any change come occur in other passman without affecting the result of other passman by changing in one passman it is little a challenging and difficult but it is not possible it is not possible that we generate a lot of pass band in one single design. We have needed to add some stubs and stubs and to adjust these stub position. But as we move on greater and greater pass bands, there a lot of challenges comes out. One of the big challenge, the matching is become very difficult because if we come to match one pass band, then other 
pass one get affected and also the amount of transmission zeros as much necessary as we cannot generate easily if we go for a uh, try mode or a up to exam mode this is all about stop loaded visitor technique in which we can uh, do this all much and there is some more limitations we cannot uh, there is a big another big problem if we are going for if we are going for higher pass bands and multi band exa band pass band filter for 6 mode for 7 mode then then definitely we have to increase the amount of stubs so this will result finally the circuit size is increases in microwave we have a big challenge to to adjust to maintain all the properties and side this we decrease the circuit size in bigger circuit size these are not useful and meaningful in microwave so this is a big problem circuit sizes have become greater and greater if we goes from higher modes this is another limitation of stop loaded resonator but also we will do some some try mode dual mode and try mode band pass filter on using this technique in this technique in any design for designing or any filter there is a there is a three, three points that we have to keep in mind by doing them first of all we have to uh, to to do ground that must be lies inside the bottom of the substrate and after that in the upper side of uh, ground there is a substrate and substrate of different materials different materials are available we can change the materials as accordingly we need their properties and third finally uh, there is a design and design that we want and third design lies above substrate and their properties depend on the shape of stub or perfectly designed so that the smooth coupling result can be achieved as required according to requirement i am going to do shape the stub if I am needed a one pass band. I will, I will shape them in a different way. If I have needed a dual band, I will shape it in some another way. And likewise, there are uh, many ways to arrange such a waste stubs to get a different or higher and higher pass bands. But there is, there is a problem. There are coupling, coupling problems come. To face in coupling problems makes mismatching and we have to match in a circuit and finally this is a very challenging work for this technique stub loaded technique stub loaded resonator technique by using software hfss we will design a compact tri band band pass filter using multi mode stop loaded resonator in my coming tutorial